Hello everyone and thank you for joining me yet again. The title of this video is Multicultural Australia. I'd just like to begin by acknowledging our Australian Aboriginals as the original inhabitants of this great southern land. They have been here for more than 40,000 years. When the Second World War came to an end in the mid-1940s, many Greek and Italians migrated to Australia and chose Australia as their home. They migrated here in great numbers because their own homeland had been ravaged by war. During the 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s and today, many other rich, diverse cultures followed in the Greek and Italian footsteps and too have called Australia home. Australia is indeed one of the most multicultural countries in the world. Possibly the most multicultural country in the world. As many of you know, me and Mac, we live in Liverpool, and Liverpool is southwest of Sydney, roughly 34 kilometres, and Liverpool is one of the most rich, diverse um, cities in Sydney. It has many, many multi-cultures all living together. I have called Liverpool home for more than a year now. And as I go out, you know, shopping and so forth in the streets of Liverpool, I have to admit I have not seen much tension as a result of all of these diversity. I have not seen many um, fisty, fisty, fighty, fighties. I have not seen much of anything at all. Or could it be that maybe because I only travel the streets during the day and at night, um, you won't find me on the street at night, basically. No, no, no. Liverpool's an okay place to live. Um, it's quite a safe place to live. Now, recently I had a beard and it was quite a pathetic example of a beard or should I say, for a beard. It was scruffy and scraggly looking. And the reason why I had a beard was because I was on holidays and I was in holiday mood and I was too lazy to shave. So basically I left a beard. Unfortunately, um, the industry that I work for is technically um, the food industry. So if I was to have a beard full time and if I was to make, you know, a a better beard on my face, much better than a scraggly beard that I had a while back, I would have to wear what they call a beard net at work. And, you know, during summer it's too hot. So I choose to save. I, I choose to shave, I should say. Now, when I did have my scraggly, you know, pathetic excuse for a beard, and when I would traverse the um, streets of Liverpool you know, buying some groceries or buying other stuff, maybe some beverages, who knows. Um, when a bearded man would pass me in the street, he would give me a nod on one or two occasions. And I would nod back. And I actually felt a part of the um, diversity and the richness of multi-cultures when I had my beard. Isn't it funny how often it's what we, you know, often it's the differences that we have that create um, clashes and so forth. Um, we often don't think about what we all share in common. We, we often, you know, don't look at what we share in common, but we often look at what is so different, um, you know, about each and every one of us. And, and these differences are the things that can create conflict, can, that can create clashes amongst different cultures. One only has to look back at the Cronulla riots, um, you know, to see um, clashes in cultures. But that's all I'll say about that. Moving right along. When we look at the, great, the three great world religions, when we look at Islam, when we look at Judaism, and when we look at Christianity, there are many, many um, similarities amongst these three great religions. Um, we share 
almost the same prophets, um, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, we all descended from Father Abraham, so to speak. The three great, the three great religions all share Father Abraham. Our, our scriptures are so similar. Um, Christianity and Judaism. Um, Christianity shares more of the um, Hebrew texts than what it has of its own texts, for example. The New Testament is much smaller than the Old Testament, for example. So there's more similarities amongst our three great religions than what there are differences. And going back to that scruffy beard that I had and I shared with you only moments ago, one only has to think of our Lord Jesus Christ and the beard that he had. One only has to think of our Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, and to think of her veil, to see that there's not much of a difference at all between our three great religions. And when we see women wearing veils on the street, and when we see men, bearded men on the street, how different are they to our Mother Mary? How different are they to our Lord Jesus Christ, who too had a beard, who too originated in Palestine, in the Holy Land, was born in this region. And he is our Lord and he is our Saviour. Why is it that we forget these things? Why is it that when we give um, people of different faiths a hard time, we forget that we too are exactly the same as them? That our, our, our prophets, our, our leaders, the people who we aspire to, are very much the same as their prophets, their leaders, the people who they too aspire towards. So let's look at what unites us and not what divides us. And let us begin by praying for peace within our own hearts, peace within our own society and peace in our world, in our planet. And it won't happen overnight. And it may take much, much time and much, much effort. But peace, indeed, is much better than war. If you like this video, please like it. Hit the like button down below. Share a comment or two in the comment section below also. And I would like each and every one of you to subscribe to my channel. And I believe that each and every one of us can all do great things for God.